Well, good morning to you. I have a garden update for you. I haven't talked to you in a really long time, but I. So one of the projects I've been working on, there's Bo, there's Kai, is this fence or this deck. I am tearing it up a little bit, and um, these wooden, I don't know, slats are getting kind of old and kind of yucky. So I'm going to take those down and do a metal wire look to it and I'm going to restain everything. So <clears throat> I planted some, these are milkweed for the butterflies. That's where the butterflies live and nest. And I'm working on some tomato plants for the neighbors and some friends. Um, Savannah's little girlfriend's really big into plants. So I'm going to give her a couple of tomato plants and see how she does with them this year. So, so far I have planted just those little flower boxes. And I've been trimming up my bushes. And I trimmed this big prickly red bush that's awful. And I don't know if you remember, but along the side of this um, sidewalk here, where the, where the driveway is, there was white um, stones. And it just got to be too much when we were trying to mow and stuff. So. I decided the kids and I were going to rip it out and put all the white stones under here. So we did that for a project. We've been going crazy. Here's my spearmint. And I just fixed my hose so it doesn't leak anymore and hung a hose holder. Yay! And these are my hostas. These have been here forever. But last year, and they're really starting to take off now this year, I planted this little guy. I don't know what it is. It's real pretty. It gets real pretty little pink flowers on it in the spring. And then some myrtle, because I want this whole area to fill in here with just, um, so you don't have to see the grass and the, and the stones. Here is a butterfly bush. So I'm going to plant the milkweed over here near the butterfly bush so they can eat here and sleep here. <laughs> okay, here's the huertas. Or I'm not sure what, but you, you have those too. And some... Black-eyed Susans I moved from the front and there are my hydrangea. Look how big they are this year. They're gorgeous and I don't know if you remember but over here I had a blueberry bush, two blueberry bushes and they weren't doing very well at all. So I swapped out a rose bush and of course I have tomato plants because I planted some seeds and I have a ton of tomato plants this year. So I swapped the blueberry bushes with a rose bush and everything's doing much better. So this is the back fence here and it's got a ugly color on it and it's starting to chip and peel and show the underneath of it. So what I did is planted these, um, they're that real tall pampas grass and then I moved some stones from over the other side of the yard and I'm gonna do four of them. So pampas grass, stone, pampas grass, stone, pompous grass stone, pompous grass. Um, Jack mowed over these two with the lawnmower because he's a teenager and he's horrible. So those are kind of trying to regrow in a little bit. But um, I'm hoping that they'll come up real nice and be real big and, and bushy and kind of hide that fence. And I went to Home Depot. This is my little area you gave us. I planted two crab apple trees, which will get pink flowers on them. There's one. There's the other, and let's see. Uh, what else did I do? I poured some cement around the base of these stones because it's supposed to keep the weeds down. So if you just get a quick dry cement and just kind of lay that down there a little bit, it kind of kills the weed back a little bit. And then some snake grass I planted. I don't know if you've seen that. And I'm watering my crab apples. So hopefully next year the crab apples will be a little bit bigger. And I can give you an update on those. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Um, I'm trying to work. And I painted some of the rocks. You know how you would make those towers um, when you would go to the beach or wherever you would go and, and just do your little sculptures. I, I did that, but I knocked it over with the lawnmower the other day, so. Over here, we have some lilac bushes. These two bigger ones were in, um, and I just, I love to open up the door. I don't know if you remember at Grandma Shara's house when you would open up the door, 
and you would get out of your car and there were lilacs everywhere. So I just love that. So Savannah and I planted this little bush here and then some more lilacs. Cause I'm hoping that to get a whole row of pretty lilacs in. And here is something I, uh, that's called a rain chain. So you hook it to your gutter and it's just pretty and fancy. And some people, I guess in Japan, it's a big thing in Japan, you take down your gutter and you just hang the rain chain. And usually they're metal or um, copper. But this one, I didn't want the weight of it. So I made it out of styrofoam pieces and painted them. But isn't it cute from far away? It looks so pretty. The other day I stained my front deck, gave it a nice fresh coat of, um, stain. I'm finding paints and stains and stuff in the basement and some of them are dried up and I'm thinking, you know what, I gotta use them up. So that's what I'm starting to do. Just getting rid of stuff and starting to use all the old stuff up and make sure everything's out of the basement so it doesn't go to waste. There's your um, beech wood. And there is a lavender plant I planted last year. Yeah, last year I did a bunch of stuff. And these are psylliums. And of course my black eyed Susans. And I have a little patch here with um, hens and chicks and I just love it. So I moved some hens and chicks over here cause they spread. So I put some over here and over here and just intermittently, hopefully they'll spread. And more psylliums. And over here, we've had this um, lilac, or I'm sorry, tiger lily? Yeah, like tiger lily area for a really long time, but I really have a hard time um, getting stuff to grow over here because uh, forever the faucet wasn't fixed. But I went to Home Depot, a nice man there took off the parts for me and I was able to get some fresh washers and get that fixed. So this is coming along real nice. And I got these at a nursery. I don't know what they are, but they spread like, um, kind of like a myrtle. And there's more of the acillium. So I'm hoping this whole little area is going to fill in here um, and eventually make that real pretty. I have to probably backfill that with a little more dirt. Looks like my stones are falling over. So that concludes our garden tour today. Oh, I also have um, clematis here. And it just usually grows up to this arch that I put here. So the other day I took some lettuce and painted it and just nailed it to the side of the siding and I'm gonna let the let the clematis grow up either side of the side of the house so I thought well that'll be pretty I used that in the car uh, to keep the dogs in the back of the <laughs> back seat. that didn't work out really well so <clears throat> yeah um, and here's the little cozy area I glued one of my mandala rocks to your rock the rock you gave me and there's my little rock faces that you gave me so cute and that concludes our garden trip so i hope you guys enjoyed our tour of the garden today it was good to uh finally have a minute to get in touch with you and leave a video and say hello and I hope everything's well and you guys are really good and we're good here everybody's good so take care love you bye